Hello, my name is Doris Kelsbeck Smith, Calusa County Board of Supervisors. Calusa County is an hour north of the California State Capitol, Sacramento. We are a rural community of 22,000 people who rely on agriculture. We grow food that feeds the world with 456,000 farmable acres. Now, almost half of these farmable acres sit fallow with little to no allocation of water due to water prioritization. This means no food. This means no habitat for the hundreds of different species that call Calusa County home. We have no emergency financial aid available. Drought isn't looked at like a fire or a flood. We need financial aid for our downstream businesses we need financial aid for our farmers whose crops weren't eligible for crop insurance. We can't wait until next year to show a loss. These businesses and farmers may not be here. Rural America is the backbone of this country and we need your help now. We're in the middle of probably the worst environmental crisis that Northern California has seen since the big, the days of the big floods. The environmental disaster that's taking place in Northern California in the Sacramento Valley is of a magnitude that really no one's seen in a hundred years. This is a disaster, just like a fire or a flood. It's just not dramatic. You don't have that moment and that picture and that newsreel. Um, it's more slow moving, but as this has evolved, it's just as devastating to our communities. And right now there's just no safety net for that. And it's something that needs, it's a story that needs to be told in a situation that needs to be remedied. Probably the people that are most vulnerable in this whole process are the hired farm workers. And I think it's, those of us in agriculture know that. We know those are people that lose their job in the first round. And, but it is, frankly, when I've talked to farmers, some of the things that they're most uh, emotional about is the other families that depend on their farm. I this temporada here and I didn't have work like other years. So I had to look for various days in the field. Y había días que había trabajo y había días que nos cortaban el trabajo. Entonces, pues batallamos porque con lo que se gana no es posible vivir no. aquí. Probably going to be the toughest year on record in Calusa. And that's number one attributed to our, our drought and the effects of the water allocations we're suffering this year and the lack of water that we have for our crops this year. My biggest fear is that we're going to see a complete um, we're going to see a complete shift into um, very large companies buying out uh, family farms. Back in Indiana, everything is so green, so green, and then you come back here to home, which normally everything would be green. This time it's just is. dry and dead and hot. Yeah. <laughs> just it came back at a bad time. Really no so sign hot. of life out here, you know? The, Not really. There's no water for the birds and the animals. I'm Denise Carter, Calusa County Supervisor. You have heard from our community members the challenges of this year, this drought. Our county ag economy is based traditionally on using about 70% surface water supply. This year, that supply has been cut 82%. Businesses are dipping into savings to keep key employees for next year. They're betting on the future. They believe in the future. The typical farmer always has some sort of challenge each year. There's always something to complain about. But they have always had the faith that things will get better. They are resilient. However, this has been the most challenging year ever that anyone has seen. The ask we have of the government is to provide direct financial assistance for this disaster. Blessed with an exceptional climate and land to grow crops, help us keep these businesses going. It's vital to our U.S. food supply. 
Thank you for listening to us.